Vox Fide brings you into the inner life of the world made flesh. Father Chris guides us in the lives of the saints in St. Lee's series. Welcome to St. Lee's series. Today, 6th July, we celebrate St. Maria Goretti, Virgin and Mata. Called the St. Agnes of the 20th century. Called the Saint of Purity. Maria Teresa Goretti was born on the 16th of October, 1890, into a very poor family around Corinaldo in the province of Ancona, Italy. She was the third of seven children. Her father was a very poor farmer and he died when she was barely nine years of age. Due to extreme poverty, they had to share a house with another family, the Serenellis. Maria dedicated her time to household chores and always looking after her younger ones. Although she could not go to school because of how poor they were, she received sound education from the hands of her mother. Her mother taught her catechism. Her mother taught her sound moral values. At the age of 11, Maria Goretti received First Holy Communion with so much excitement and interior peace. Her desire to love God exceedingly made her develop a deep and inner hatred for sin. She would walk several miles to go for the sacrament of penance and she was admired for her obedience, her love for modesty and her purity of body and soul. Now one day, Alexandro, the 18 years old son of the Serenellis made sexual advances at the young Maria Goretti, who was barely 12 at that time. And when Maria Goretti refused, Alexandro stabbed Maria Goretti 14 times, leaving her half dead. She was rushed to the hospital for treatment, but she died the following day. 6th of July, 1902. But before her death, Maria Goretti forgave Alexandro and prayed for his conversion. Alexandro was arrested. He was convicted and sent to prison for 30 years. While in prison, he had a vision where Maria Goretti handed him 14 white lilies, the symbol of purity, one flower for each of the times he stabbed her. This encounter struck deep in Alexandro and eventually led to his conversion. Upon his release from prison, the first thing Alexandro did was to go and beg forgiveness from Maria Goretti's mother. And she gladly forgave him. At the beatification of Maria Goretti in 1947, her now 82 years old mother was present with her two sisters and her brother. On the 24th of June 1950, was Maria Goretti's canonization day. And guess who was there? A 66 years old Alexandro Serenelli. He was kneeling among the crowds at St. Peter's Basilica. While kneeling, he cried out his tears because heaven has granted him an intercessor. Maria Goretti was laid in the Basilica of Our Lady of Grace and Maria Goretti in Rome. There her remains are. Does the world still respect and value purity? And by forgiving her abuser and praying for his conversion, Maria Goretti 
this a huge lesson for our time. Margareti was canonized by Pope Pius XII. The color of the day is red. She is the patron of youths, of rape victims, of crime victims, of teenage girls, of children of Mary, young children in general. Growing up for me as a young boy, this was actually the first scent I ever heard her story. Thanks to my mother. What we offer the saints is veneration. God bless you. I am Father Chris, Vox Fidei. Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in. Vox Fidei, God is in charge.